Thy word is truth, O Lord. Thy word is truth. Sanctify us through the word, O Lord. Thy word is truth. Sanctify us through the word, O Lord. Thy word is truth. Amen. Hallelujah, beloved. Good morning, beloved. You are all welcome to this word of truth. The topic of the word of truth of today is come and let us walk in the light of God. Come and let us walk in the light of God. Our Bible text is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 2 verse 5 that says, O house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of God. This is a call of God to everyone. So come and walk in the light of God. We are the spiritual house of Jacob. God did not want anyone to be in darkness or to dwell in darkness. God is light and wants everyone to come to his light, walk in his light and dwell in his light. God is light, and in Him is no darkness at all. The Word of God says in the book of 1 John, chapter 1, verse 5 to 7, that says, This then is the message which we, are, which we have heard of Him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in Him is no darkness at all. If you say that we have fellowship with Him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as He is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sins. What quenched the light of God in the life of a man is sin. That's why as a child of God, walking in the light, we must avoid sin and run from any appearance of sin. God wants each and every one of us to come to the, to the light and to walk in the light. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Anyone that follows him will never walk in darkness. We saw the biblical example in the book of John chapter 8 of the woman they caught in adultery that was brought to our Lord Jesus Christ. She was living in sin. The sin put her in bondage and darkness. Her accusers brought her to the Lord. She saw the light. She encountered the light and she repented of her sin and she started walking in the light. She was not walking in darkness again. She left the sin that put her in Put her in bondage and followed the light, which is Jesus. She is called Mary Magdalene. As she walked in the light, many mysteries of the kingdom of God were revealed unto her. She was the one that poured oil on the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ. She prepared our Lord Jesus Christ for his burial, and she was the first person that sought the Lord after resurrection. It is a great thing to know Jesus and to walk in the light of God. Beloved, the word of God says in the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 to 16 that, that says, Ye are the lights of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be healed. Neither the men light candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and is given light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may, they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. The only way to be the light of the world, as the Bible says, is to come to Jesus, the light of the world, and to walk in his light. The only way by which the light of God in us will shine to people in darkness is to walk in the light of God. The only way by which the light of God in us will not be hindered or turn to darkness is by walking in the light of God. Many people are still in darkness that needs light. The only way for them to to see the good work of God in us and follow us into the kingdom of God and glorify our Father in heaven is by walking in the light of God. Anyone who come and walk in the light of God will walk in the light of God. Anyone who come and walk in the light of God will be the light of God. The light of God will shield and protect him wherever he goes. Anyone who come and walk in the light of God, the light of God will shine on his path and on his way. Anyone who come and walk in the light of God will never be or walk in darkness. Anyone who come and walk in the light of God, darkness will not have a place in his or her life. Anyone who come and walk in the light of God, it will be a light to the world. Anyone who come and walk in the light of God, the light of God in him will help him to serve God in holiness and in an accepted way. Anyone who come and walk in the light of God, people of the world will say the good works and glorify a Father in heaven. Anyone who come and walk in the light of God, deep and secret things 
in the word of God and about the kingdom of God will be revealed unto him. Anyone who come and walk in the light of God, sin will not have dominion over him. Anyone who come and walk in the light of God, he will be the carrier of God's light, power and anointing. Anyone who comes and walk in the light of God, the word of God will be a lamp unto his feet and a light unto his path. Anyone who come and walk in the light of God, the spirit of God will be his guide and he, as he walks in the light. Anyone who come and walk in the light of God, he will do good and greater works on earth and make it to heaven. I pray this will be our portion and testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. Prayers. Please, let's take these prayers together. In Jesus' name, Father, help me to walk in your light. In Jesus' name, Father, help me to walk in your light. In Jesus' name, Father, as I walk in your light, reveal yourself more and more unto me. In Jesus' name, Father, as I walk in your light, reveal yourself more and more unto me. In Jesus' name, Father, help me to be the light of the world. In Jesus' name, Father, help me to be the light of the world. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.